Hello everyone, my name is Stacy Bianco and my technical speech is going to be about how you can easily create stained glass art. I'm also going to show you how creating stained glass art can not only be economical but a whole lot of fun. Okay, here we go. First of all, you're going to need supplies. At AC Moore, I picked up a bag of mixed media brush, brushes, paint brushes and uh, sponges for about five dollars are on sale right now. You're going to need some clips. I got these at the Dollar Tree for about a dollar. Uh, I also picked up this tool set because I kind of felt like I might need it if I needed to scrape if I decided to go with using the simulated liquid leading. It's it's like it simulates liquid leading, the lead that they actually use when they're creating stain, real stained glass. But we're not going to be using that. Okay, um, you're also going to need some tracing paper, Dollar, Dollar Tree. Um, we have various options in what we're going to do. You can pick up these stands. I got these at Christmas Tree Shop a few years ago. They were, they were a dollar a piece. Also, a picture hanging kit if you want to go with one of the options that I have for you today in your stained glass adventure. Okay, tape always comes in handy. Also, I have this Colors in Bloom. It's, all it is is an adult coloring book, but it has lots of great patterns for you to be able to trace on your tracing paper or just get inspiration, you know, for whatever you might want to create. Okay. You're going to need paint. This set I actually got on sale right now at AC Moore. Everything is about 40% off. Um, it's a value paint set, but what I like about this particular paint, not acrylics, not oils, is that it's, it's very translucent and glossy when it's applied to glass. We are going to be using glass, okay? You're going to need a Sharpie. You're going to need a cup of water, all right, to clean your brushes, um, pencil, all right, uh, ruler if you need it, or you can freehand it. And also I have this stand that I actually use for, you know, online learning school is to hold up my books so they're not like flopping over. But this comes great when you're using um, one of these bigger picture frames that I'm about to show you here. So I have these frames that I got from the Dollar Tree, or Dollar different types depending on you know what your mood is what your color thing is they have black they have everything all right different sizes this is a five by seven all right we're only going to be using the frame and the glass in these all right now this one I've already opened up so you can see pretty easy and uh, I also have extra wire for my uh, picture hanging kit here as well. I also picked up this at the Dollar Tree. You don't have to get all this. I just wanted to test and see what children's finger paints would be like. It's a no-no. What I found was that it's really flaky. It takes forever to dry versus the, the set that I have here that is actually for um, stained glass painting. And so I didn't really like it, but it's good for your kids if you got little ones, all right? And also what I did was I went online and I printed out little patterns of um, different things I thought were interesting. You know, a little fish, depending on the frame size I wanted to use. There's bigger ones. Uh, butterfly I thought was cool. Look at butterfly here. Uh, some leaves. Might get some inspiration from that. So this is actually what I would be using if I was going to be doing a, a votive stained glass art, which I thought was cool. I could do, you know, flat leaf and then use this maple leaf and do it like a brown and gold. That would be kind of cool. An example of that I did last night. I just did some tribal kind of art, kind of flowery thing. I, you know, did a little abstract here on the back. And I also picked up some of these flashing um, LED lights, 120 hours, tea light candles, you can use regular candles. I didn't really like the, uh, the coloring of this. I thought they were clear, but I didn't read it. 
but the effect that I got from this that I created last night was this here. Kind of cool, you know? If you wanted to, you could um, download a figure and print it out of like Mario. And you know, you could have it as like a children's room nightlight type of thing. It's really inexpensive, a dollar. These were a dollar, the photos were a dollar. Tea lights were a dollar, okay? So let's get started. So what I did here, this was my uh, template that I used on the tracing paper for what I created here, which is cool. All right, I'll show you how to do that. Some leaves, you know, to go with the other leaf. And then I actually just did this if you wanted to do, you know, a type of, you know, religious type uh, votive candle. That would be cool too. So they have to be small. Okay, so that's why you need scissors. If I didn't mention that, all right, to trace out and size what you want to create. All right. Okay, so let's get out the paints. So there are 31 colors here, which is cool. All right. It actually gives you the names of the colors on the back. White pearl, magenta, lime green, light green, charcoal black, amethyst, royal blue. It's really, really nice. You also need to make sure you have napkins. You're going to be doing a lot of cleaning with your brushes. You don't want to, you know, the colors to mix together. Okay. This set also comes with a mini uh, simulated liquid letting. I don't really need that because I already, already opened up the big bottle. And then it comes with kind of like a, a gloss. And you can use that. But I felt that uh, the paint was kind of glossy and I didn't really need it. Although I did use a little at the front. You have to be careful just to put it on what you've painted because if you were to put this on the rest of the glass you'd have like a permanent uh, glue type thing that you can't get off unless you scrape it off so you don't want to do that you want to be kind of careful with that all right and the only reason that i'm not using um, real lead and real copper and real glass <laughs> and nails and hammers because that's just too much work okay i just want the fun of it and the look of it without all the work and i hope i can teach you guys how to do that today all right so what i decided to do was to use i really like this dragonfly look that they had here on the front of this uh, paint set so I freehand and drew it out. I don't know if you guys can see that here. And what I'm going to do is use my black marker and trace that onto the glass. And that's going to basically be our leaded paint. You can use this paint. The only reason I'm not using it is because I tried to like squirt it out and it came out in big squirts. The only way I see this working is if you use some sort of tool like this. This comes in the set and actually dab, dip and dab across the entire project like here. Like you'd have to dip and dab, 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 dab. It's just way too thick. All right, so I'm just leaving that out of it and I'm using my black marker basically as my simulated leaded paint okay but i am if you practice it you probably get the hang of it but we don't have time for that all right so i'm going to put this oh and also i got this pirate chest here from ac moore it's really 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 cool you take all these supplies when you're done dump them in here put it in the closet and you're ready to go for the next time all right so let me move some of my things here. So what I did was I took out the glass from this frame, all right, to be careful actually of the edges of the frame, okay? You don't want to cut yourself. So I'm going to take some of these clips that I got and I'm going to just secure my drawing, my tenth at a drawing. my image. Okay? Let's move that box over. Alright, get that stand here. Now this is a really cool item that I, item that I got off of Amazon. 
I use it for, uh, you know, to hold my books, uh, for class, online learning and all that stuff. It really comes in handy. It's got an adjustable base at the back that you can make it as wide as you want, you know. But we're going to use this today to create our framed art. All right, so what I did was I traced the item that we're going to make is this onto a piece of glass. But what I'm going to do is actually do it again, mainly because my video cut out. <laughs> okay, so, and I had no idea, but that's okay. That's why we have extra. So to show you from the start, this is one of the uh, Dollar Tree frames that I bought. Just going to take the plastic off. All right, remove the back, you know, little tabs at the back that come on frames, all right. Carefully, don't hurt yourself. Oh, it's kind of tough. That's when the tools come in handy, okay? You pry that stuff off. Take off the back, we're not going to need that anymore piece of paper. We're not going to need that. You guys should use this. This is great to save if you want to save a little money on your printing paper and just use that to uh, draw your little artwork on, okay? And then we're going to take out the glass. You want to be very careful because the edges are sharp, but I've dealt with these a lot. But this is, you know, if you really did want to do uh, real stained glass, you could actually, you know, use this as glass instead of, you know, ordering online and cut them as you like, all right? But we're not doing that, we're doing the easy way, okay? So this is a frame we're gonna save, and that's where these come in handy, okay? So they have the little backings in here, that if you wanted to hang it, you could, all right? So they have the little thingies here that you can create something on the back, either hang it up on the wall, use these, and you have they have little nails in here that you can screw onto the frame, okay? Or you can use the little hooks to go into the corners of the frame, and that's when you would be using the string that I have. A little wire set. You just take a little piece of wire, run it from one side to the next. All right? So put that away. All right, so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to take the little drawing I made, and I'm going to use the clips, the wire clips, and clip it into place. All right. All right. And so I don't know if you can see the little dragonfly that I drew there. All right, in pencil. So I'm gonna do now is use the magic marker and just trace that. It can be anything, any kind of thing that inspires you is what you wanna use. So I'm gonna use the black magic marker and I'm going to start tracing this dragonfly because he is just so cute. All right. And we're going to trace and trace and trace. Trace the blades of grass. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? This is your artwork. Alright. And then within where I've traced the Sharpie pen over the drawing, I'm going to use paint. And whatever color inspires you, you don't have to use what the book says or paint by number. You do what makes you feel happy. All right? So this is basically traced, tracing the grass. All right, so what you want to do is take your paint, let's move this out of the way. We're gonna do a little green Use my handy dandy brushes. 
little paper towel comes in handy. Save these little bits when you uh, order takeout. Stick them in a drawer. See how great they are? So I'm going to use this brush, just a little wire, a little um, bristle brush, and I'm going to start painting the grass. All right, I love this paint because it dries translucent and shimmery and shiny and girly and junk. <laughs> All right. And you can put it on as thick or as thin as you like, okay? So you want to take off the clips and just continue going around and painting where you want to paint, okay? One more paint. Okay. I'm going to use our little water. That's why it comes in handy. Rinse the brush, but I'm going to use a little one right now. Okay. Make sure you cover your paints. You don't want them to dry out completely until you hear a snap. All right, I'm going to use a little purple. And like I had on the box, I'm going to just go through it. It doesn't matter if you go across the line because it's going to dry this really cool, clear, crystally. Um, stained glass cathedral type of look and I just love this paint. I'm sure you can use acrylic paint, you can use oil paint, but once you see this dry it is just so pretty. And the name of this is um, Plaid, that's the manufacturer, it's called Gallery Glass and I've actually seen it on Amazon but luckily I walked into AC Moore and I saw it set there. It was like $14.99 on sale, I think. And I'm like, it's mine. All right, so a little more here. Okay, and you just keep going and going, adding colors, adding whatever colors inspire you, you know? If you're trying to like uh, put it in a room where you have like a certain decor, you know, you change it to that. Another thing is, um, this leading that they have, this simulated liquid leading, if you practice, like I was practicing here, you could probably get it. But it takes a lot of practice because I tried it on the back of my little project here that I was showing you. Okay? And it's pretty thick. I really don't like my lines that thick. What I would do for me, I would just get a thicker black marker the next time. But this is what I created um, last night. And I actually would like to get these again, but I want it in a clear, like, looking candle type thingy. All right, so what I'm going to do now is show you the finished product of what I was doing here, okay? And that is this. What I did was I took the glass, all right, finished. See how pretty that is? If you can see it in the light, stained glass looking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in an empty frame with nothing in it. And be careful because remember, it is glass. And then what I'm going to do, I'll make sure you close this back up because it dries out like glue. Okay, the leaded, simulated <laughs> liquid lighting. Okay, and then gently close. You want to be careful at this point because this is where you can crack your glass. Hopefully I don't do it. And just gently secure your glass back in the frame. And then what you can do is uh, take the little hangers like I told you, hang here, or you can use a little stand, like so. All right. I got those Christmas tree shop. All right. I think this one's probably a little small for this, but you get the idea. Okay. All right. And this is the finished product. And it really didn't take us that long. Look, we created art and it is ours. All right, so if you want a fun, easy, inexpensive way to create stained glass, do what I do. Dollar Tree, Christmas Tree Shop, AC Moore, okay? And um, just put your own spin on things. They have bottles, all kinds of cool things you can use. You don't have to use what I'm using. You know, go into these craft stores and just inspire yourself, okay? So, my name is Stacy Bianco, 
and it has been so much fun uh, with my technical speech and um, demonstrating how you can create your own art. And I'll see you around class, guys. Thanks.